In this video, I'll tell you about three of the best DeFi platforms. So we'll go over them. I'll tell you how they work and we'll also compare them a little bit. So without further ado, let's get started with the topic. First, a quick disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. All right, now let's get right into this video. Like I said, we'll talk about three of the best DeFi platforms out there. So if you actually want to get into de decentralized finance, which there are, are a lot of reasons why you would want to do that, there are great returns to be had. And apart from that, everything that is new actually launches on decentralized finance. You can always buy there, whether you are verified on a centralized exchange or not. Decentralized finance is where it's at. So in this video, we'll talk about three of the most amazing DeFi platforms. I'll tell you what they are, how to use them, and we'll compare them a little bit uh, so that you can enter the, the DeFi markets in the best possible way. Now, before we dive into this, I do want to say that all of the links will be down in the description as well. So check that out if you want more information. So the first project we'll talk about is also the biggest project right now in terms of the whole DeFi markets. There are some platforms that do specific features better, but Uniswap, which is the first platform we'll talk about and the first protocol is really the biggest out there right now so on uniswap you basically have four features that are the, the the biggest you can swap tokens so for example right here you can actually if you have ethereum you can swap that for um, almost any other crypto and you can actually also paste the contract address of whatever token so if there's liquidity for a specific token which is very very small on uniswap you can still buy that now you can also just check out the top tokens if you're just looking and, and shopping for some tokens you want to research uh, you can filter them by volume as you can see some of the most traded cryptos which is right now ethereum and some stable coins have have millions of dollars of volume over the last 24 hours but you can also look for some smaller tokens by for example sorting on the total value locked or sorting on the percentage change in the last day now Uniswap has also recently expanded to NFTs. So as you can see on Uniswap, you can also have amazing NFTs collections. The biggest ones, you can also buy them on Uniswap, where you will actually, at some points of time, you can actually find better prices here and getting listed is easier. And then last of all, you also have pools. This is one of the most amazing features of Uniswap and also allows you to actually gain some great rewards. As you can see, you can deposit any crypto. So for example, stable coins and Ethereum, you can actually get some great rewards rewards on that so here you can see some some info on some of the best uh, pools but you can also add a new position if you for example want to add liquidity to ethereum against let's say the op token and then you can actually see the fee you pay but apart from that once you actually add that liquidity you can start earning percentages on what you have deposited now ave is another DeFi platform you have to know ave really is focused on borrowing and lending so as you can see right now what you can actually do on ave if you go to the website and once again all of the links will be down in the description. What you can see is that you can supply assets and borrow assets. So what you can actually do is if you want to borrow stable coins, but you don't want to sell your Ethereum, which I mean, sometimes you just don't want to sell that. What you can then do is then you can put up that Ethereum as collateral and borrow some stable coins, stable coins to do something with. And then if you have done the things you wanted to do with those stable coins, you can just deliver them back to Aave and you can gain back your Ethereum, which actually if the price of Ethereum goes up, you still have made that profit while you were holding stable coins. And you can also gain some rewards. So an API, for example, right now on USDT, or on Ethereum is uh, relatively decent for, for a year. I mean, you should only imagine how much this can be if you're also talking about the next bull market and if the prices of, for example, Ethereum go up. Now, apart from that, Aave can also be used for uh, markets and staking. So you can actually stake Aave and, and stake ABP tokens, which is a little bit more of a difficult topic to get into. But if you have Aave tokens, you can stake them here for a great APR of 6%. And you can buy your favorite cryptos here as well, which is basically the same functionality as Uniswap. Now, the last DeFi platform we'll talk about before comparing them is Compound Finance. Compound Finance is one of the biggest platforms out there where you can also lend and borrow USTC. So that's a stablecoin, as you all know. So if you actually have stablecoins, what you can do is you can supply that or borrow that. So that's exactly the same feature we talked we just talked about with Aave. If you want stable coins but you're holding Bitcoin or Ethereum, you can set aside that Ethereum and get some stable coins for whatever time you want to actually have that. So here you can actually see the supply APR and the borrow APR. So this is what you have to pay. 
And this is what you would get if you actually supply USDC, which you can also do. Apart from that, again, Compound also has markets where you can buy all sorts of cryptocurrencies very easily and in a decentralized way. And last of all, they have some great extensions such as advanced transactions, a position migrator and different governance uh, applications, which actually allow you to participate in the decentralized finance platform of Compound a little bit more. Now, if we're talking about monthly active users, so how many people actually use the platform, Uniswap is by far the biggest. As you can see, the monthly active users are over 300,000 right now, over 500,000 even, and it is growing. This is the last month that's still coming in. And if you, for example, look at something like Aave, these are not full numbers, but you can see that the overall numbers are way lower and they are actually decreasing quite rapidly. Now Compound is actually still doing great where you can see that at this point of time, there's still about $1.45 billion deposited and $145 million loans. Now, apart from that, what you can definitely see is that Uniswap is by far the biggest. If you're taking a look at, for example, the trading volume over the last 24 hours, uh, Uniswap on Ethereum and Arbitrum and Polygon, because it's on multiple blockchains, is by far the biggest and the best platform for liquidity. But there are some things that you can only do on Aave and Compound, for example, if you're talking about borrowing and lending USDC and other cryptos. So for now, we've reached the end of this video. We talked about DeFi and the best DeFi platforms. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to add a like and add comments with questions I might have missed and subscribe to our channel.